you know, the events of yesterday are, you know, they're, they're, they weigh heavy on my on my heart and everything. Like, and I made the video yesterday, like, you know, to you know express my feelings and everything. But I'm really still in my feelings about it. Like, I just feel bad. I don't feel bad for myself. I feel bad for these men's, the, these men and their family. Like, 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 uh, what's his name? Uh, Philando, uh, Mr. Castro. Like, his girlfriend and his wife, his girlfriend and his wife, sorry, his girlfriend and his daughter were in the car when he got shot. Like, what if the officer missed and, like, hit the little girl? Um, Alton Sterling, like, there were people, like, literally just feet away recording it on their cell phones. What if, you know, the officer missed and the bullet ricocheted and, you know, headed in that direction? Like, I understand, like, you know, like, well, okay, I'm, I'm gonna give them the credit that say, like, the city's officers were, were afraid for their lives. Let, let's just, let's just go with that argument. It, it's, there's other ways to, you know, stop a threat. Like, not for nothing, like, they find, I hate to really make this a black-white thing, but they really, they find ways to make sure that if there's like a you know like a like a like a like a white you know suspect what i'm saying basically what i'm saying is they find ways not to kill the white suspect or criminal or what have you but with us it's like the first thing they go to is the gun like why not go for like the taser or like the nightstick or or something like it's it's ridiculous um i'm sorry to stop the vlog this way but this has been weighing heavy on my, on my mind and on my heart. So, welcome back to the Kevin Lee Vlogs. Hope you have a good day, good night, good morning, whatever time you're watching. Oh God. All right, so now back to your regularly scheduled Kevin Lee Vlog. So, today I have to go see my cardiologist. Um, nothing serious, just a routine thing right here. Oh shit. Just a... Okay, I don't know where he is. Um, just a routine you know, appointment, nothing serious. So, I'm happy about that. Uh, basically, it's just a checkup. My car, my car service is downstairs, so I don't see them. I'm just, I'm just gonna wait for them, I guess. Yo, I'll tell you one thing. Yo, this has a bitch out here. Shit. Yo, I'm not going nowhere where there's no AC today. Fuck that shit. I know one thing. This, better, this driver better have the AC on full fucking blast. I've been out here two minutes, not even. And I'm hot as a mother. Like, I'm already, starting to, I'm, already, I'm already starting to feel my sweat run down my couture. <laughs> Sex and silly reference. One hour later. You know what, that wasn't a bad ride. And the driver was actually friendly. He wanted to pretty much hear more about the the organ donation and everything. So I am here. I'm about to go inside. I haven't been here in a year, so I what the fucking bubble looks like. Actual proof that I have a heart. Apparently I'm not a cold hearted bitch like I thought. So I call myself going to find something to eat. And somehow, one way or another, I found my way in H&M. And yes, I fucking bought something. Probably something I didn't need, but I seen it, I liked it, I wanted it. There you go. Look, I look this way, I work hard for my money. I can't take it with me when I die, so what the fuck, right? But right, let's go find that real food, though. So the funny thing about this neighborhood I'm in in Manhattan is that it's more retail than anything else, so there's not a lot of places to eat. Then, if I go back closer to the doctor's office, it's more like high-end, you know, sit-down dinner type shit. I need nothing like just quick, that's still kind of sort of healthy. I think I'm asking too much right there. this plan and head back to where the doctor's office is and wait for my ride to come back. 
like everything around here is either expensive or it's like it's like fat food, like McDonald's and shit like that. I'm not for that. Come on. All right, my car service. Oh, that's cool. He's making a giant balloon. That's super fucking cool. But uh, my car service is pulling up, so I'm gonna walk over there now and head my black ass home so I can go to work. Eventually. Oh girl, sorry I was tired. <laughs> Yo, it is so hot and humid outside that I really do not want to get dressed and go to this good old job. <sighs> I'm torn between just not going and just losing a day's pay or going and I don't know. Girl, I just don't want to go. It's hot. It's motherfucking hot. A little history about me when before I had my surgery and you know was tired of Dallas was on Tuesdays and Thursdays I used to have to be here for six o'clock I do not miss that shit the traffic is fucking horrible but I'm here glad I made it on time later okay so look who surprised me after work good surprise though but still like really though it's princess Yaya say hi boo boo say hi boo boo Yes, you Sam. And it goes my mother. We're doing the, the Walmart run. Was not expecting that at all. Um, lemon, do half and half too. Do half and half too. And do a peach. Right there on the end. So yeah, we're doing a Walmart run. It's hot. There's nothing to drink really in the house other than water. Which is good, but we also need some flavor too. So we're making it happen. Okay, let me put this disclaimer in first. When I walk in here in Walmart, I usually don't catch an attitude because I know what to expect. You know, especially at this time of night after I get off work. So I know to expect like, you know, they're, you know, the associates putting stuff away. Um, you know, customers just stopping like they're fucking stupid. But today I'm fucking over it. I'm fucking tired. I can't fucking do it no more. Like, I'm like one like nasty glare from like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah, I think I need a vacation. Oh my god, guess what? I don't know how you forgot this fucking news. So there's two pieces of big news. One, I have a much more healthier heart than I did prior to having the transplant. Okay, bitch, that's a motherfucking win. The next part is... I think you should turn your volume down a little bit. Okay, are you guys ready? Guess who I guess who I spoke to today? I spoke to Keisha G. Like, oh my fucking god, do you fucking believe that? Like, okay, so Keisha G, she's like, she's like a uh girl, if you don't know who Keisha G is, girl, you need to just go on the rock and and and, and shoot yourself. But you do, you go to youtube.com. I think her channel is YouTube um, backslash Keisha G. Girl, I don't know. I don't know what it is on top of my head. Cause I, just, I, I found her because of a lick of crack. And what I'm gonna go do is I'm gonna go to her channel and I'm gonna put it down in the comment below because not for nothing, she is like badass and she's like flawless and I fucking love her. And oh my god, I fucking had a conversation with her in the comment section. But it's okay. It's cool because you know what? Not for nothing. Hopefully she's gonna do like some kind of meetup thing and I'll actually get to meet her. I'm fucking excited about it. Oh my god.